Be and I, I'm so blessed to be able to call you mine. I've realized over the years that it's not hard to live life when everything is going good. You are the person I want to be beside me when things are not going as planned. You make the hardships easy. John Davis, I've been hoping and praying for this moment for the last six years. If only I could go back in time and tell 16-year-old me that we were standing here today, she would be over the moon and say, I told you so. You see, I've loved you and known that you are the one since our first day. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty. Uh, gorgeous. Oh, you get to put the tile. <laughs> Can't talk. Can't talk so much. Yeah. Beloved, we have assembled here in the presence of God to witness the celebration of sacred marriage, which is an honorable estate instituted by God and signifying unto us the mystical union which exists between Christ and his church. Marriage was ordained of God as the sacrament of human society. It was commended by St. Paul and was honored and adorned by Christ at the wedding in Cana of Galilee. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, and in fear of God. The creative purpose of God finds its most beautiful and complete expression in this loving relationship of husband and wife together. It is therefore to be held in honor of all men and to be reverenced and regarded by all as an enduring covenant of love and fidelity. Marriage has been consecrated by the faithful keeping of good men and good women in every generation. Believing it to be ordained of God for them and having chosen to bestow their love and their loyalty on each other in this holy estate, John Davis and Brianna come now to be united in sacred marriage. So let us pray as we join God in this time of worship. 
Father God, we do thank you for this day. We thank you for all the many good gifts and blessings that you allow us to have. And Father, as we gather here in this beautiful place today, as we enjoy your creation outside, Father, we give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory for everything. And now, Father, as we enter into this time of worship, as we enter into this time of marriage, I pray that you will be with John Davis and you will be with Brianna as they move forward in life, that you will bless them, that you will bless their marriage, and you will bless their home. And Father, in life, that they would put you at the forefront and in the center of all they do. Father, we thank you for them today. We pray that uh, they would look for the help that they need and they would again give you all the praise and the glory through it all. Father, we love you and we thank you for loving us. And it's in Christ Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Who gives Brianna to be married to John Davis? Her mother and I. I require and charge you both as you stand in the presence of God before whom the secrets of all hearts are disclosed that having duly considered the holy covenant you are about to make you do now declare before this company your pledge of faith each to the other be well assured that if these solemn vows are kept inviolate as God's word demands and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your heavenly father God will bless your marriage, will grant you fulfillment in it, and will establish your home in peace. John Davis, will you have Brianna to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her so long as you both shall live? I will. Brianna, will you have John Davis to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him, so long as you both shall live? I will. Now, John Davis and Brianna, you will now join hands as you repeat your vows. John Davis, repeat after me. I, John Davis, take thee, Brianna. I, John Davis, take thee, Brianna. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, or poorer. In sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge thee my faith. Thereto I pledge thee my faith. And Brianna, repeat after me. I Bri to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse. For richer, for poorer, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health. To, love and to, cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I pledge thee my faith. John Davis, what do you give as a token of your love for Brianna? John Davis, you will notice that this ring is a complete circle without beginning or end. It is symbolic, I trust, of the endlessness of your love for Brianna. John Davis, as you place this ring on Brianna's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and with all my worldly goods, with all my worldly goods, I thee endow, I thee endow, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, Brianna, what do you give as a token of your love for John Davis?
Brianna, you will notice that this ring is made of the purest of metals. It will not turn or tarnish with age. It is symbolic, I trust, of the purity of your love for John Davis. And Brianna, you will place this ring on John Davis's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring I, thee wed, I thee wed, and with all my worldly goods, I thee, I thee endow. In the name of the Father, the, of the, Father, the Son, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. For as much as John Davis and Brianna have consented, consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and thereto have pledged their faith each to the other and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving rings. I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. To those that God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Now, by the power vested in me by God, I now pronounce you man and wife. John Davis, you may now kiss your bride. John Davis, my wish to you is that you and Brianna have the same good fortune and love that has gotten your mother and I through all of these years. May you always love each other 
and be full of patience and understanding, honesty and loyal and good to each other.